welcome back to my channel guys are y'all ready to eat i'm hungry y'all let's eat okay so without further ado what i need for you to do y'all know the regulars go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button to make sure you're notified every time i drop a video and welcome again y'all today i have mcdonald's here and I have Burger King. So I have nuggets, fries, and drinks. And we got some sauces and stuff right here too, y'all. And I have a fish sandwich from Burger King. I got a little story about that. So, guys, I have um, McDonald's chicken nuggets here. I have some orange Fanta. I can get my nails done now, y'all. I'm at a job where I don't have to, where I can have nails. My last job, I couldn't have nails. And I got a fish sandwich here. I'm going to get all these napkins and stuff out of y'all way. Y'all don't want to see all these napkins and stuff. So, I have a fish sandwich from Burger King. I really do like fish sandwiches. The other day, um, Babe asked me what I want to eat from. I told him, hmm. he was at Burger King. He was like, you want some food? And I was like, yes. Okay. This fish sandwich is giving cold, but my fries are hot. And so are my nuggets. So, we're going to check on that. Because I hope my fish sandwich is not cold. How y'all been doing today? Have y'all been out and about? I've been in the house all day. I haven't done anything. Have not done much. And I'm going to put me a little bit of ketchup here, on here too, y'all. I rarely use ketchup on my fries, but I will today. All righty. Uh, let's get into this. This is a nugget. Oh. Um, I got hot mustard. That's my favorite. Me. Let's try this fish sandwich. The other day it was so good, I ate the whole sandwich. So we're gonna try today. Mm. Mm. I wish my fish was hot, but. It's not, y'all. But it's okay. It tastes okay. I got extra tartar and um, extra lettuce. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Try not to touch my drink, it's so hard. I need french fries, that's what fill you up. Excuse me. I felt good to <clears throat> wake up today and I have nothing to do. So, it's not going to happen tomorrow. I got so much to do tomorrow. Mm hmm. I have 
question, y'all. How do y'all feel about the back vaccination? I am fully vaccinated. I have both my shots. I have um, Moderna. But and I have my boot my boosters. So I'm all for people getting vaccinated, but I don't want um, anybody's civil rights violated if they choose that you know not to get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And again, y'all, I don't burp much off camera because I don't drink, um, <clears throat> I only drink sodas on camera for dinner and I don't burp all the time. So I have acid reflux and acid indigestion and all kind of crazy stuff like that because I don't burp. So when I do burp, I'm okay with that and I can't hold it in. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I've been fully vaccinated, but I am the only one in my house who's been vaccinated. Um, I let my kids make up their own mind. Now, I think my son is vaccinated. He lives with his dad. But, um, my oldest daughter is vaccinated. She's in college, though. And I think that was a requirement before she could start the university. So. Mm. I was listening to D.L. Um, Hughley yesterday. Um. Nothing starts itching and none of it till I start eating. Um, I was listening to his talk show yesterday in the afternoon around let's see four. And and actually I had um before my daughter left out of here, I had asked her to Google this guy's name to make sure I was correct. But it was Howard Stern who said that people that are not vaccinated when they go to the hospital and they're having complications, they shouldn't get any medical care. They should just be left to die because you didn't take a shot. I got vaccinated. I'm not going to say I got bullied. <clears throat> into getting vaccinated, but I was kind of, how would I say it, coached into, because I had my mind made up. I was like, look, I don't know anything about the shot. Um, I have not done any research on the vaccine, and I don't think we should have to get it. You know, this is what I'm thinking in my brain. And then... Babe was not get. He is so against it. He ain't getting it. So I'm like, you know, 
It's gonna be okay. I won't get it. Now, one day I was speaking with my cousin. They're older, much wiser. Um, she said, have you been vaccinated? And I said, no, I have not been vaccinated. She said, well, what are you waiting on to get vaccinated? And I'm like, I'm not waiting on anything. I don't plan on getting vaccinated because, you know, I'm not sure about it. And she said, well, if you don't get vaccinated, or if you if you get back so if you if you catch COVID, your chances are living, I mean are dying is 50-50. You may live, you may die. But if you get vaccinated, your chances are are dying is only one percent. Especially if you have underlying conditions. So I have high blood pressure, not extremely high to where I'm on three or four medications. I don't take one pill. I ain't gonna say high blood pressure. I'm gonna say hypertension. I'm a worryaholic, basically. And of course, you know, the more weight you gain, it boosts your chances on hypertension. So. I want to make sure that if I caught COVID, you know, my chances, you know, I was going to be okay. I have, you know, children, three children to, you know, care for. And I also have, um, you know, three stepchildren that, I, you know, I, I, I play a role in their lives as well. So I have a lot of little children. I have a lot of children. I have um, my... Um, children's little sister who I did a video with her name is love you know I have um things I have people that depend on me that I need to live for so I was like well I'll get the shot so that that's my reason why I got vaccinated <clears throat> but and it was kind of out of fear so I got vaccinated because I I was afraid to die early or, or whatever you want to call it but that's why out of fear and i think a lot of people <clears throat> want people to get vaccinated out of fear the same reason why we don't want to get vaccinated is the same reason why hold on guys let me let my, my body calm down we don't know what's going on There, can I speak now? Whatever this is, okay. But the same reason that I got vaccinated is a lot of reason reasons that people are not getting vaccinated. Everybody's scared. Everybody's scared. We scared, y'all. We scared. We scared. We scared. We, scared. we don't know if, if you get vaccinated, you become a mutant in 10 years, or if you're going to be looking at TV in five years saying that. If you got the Moderna shot when um during the pandemic, you're gonna be growing two more legs. You know, we don't know that. And we also don't know that if you don't get the shot, you're gonna live through it. So I'd rather take the risk to live. We'll figure the rest out later. I cannot speak for everybody. That's why I let my children make up their own decisions. I want them to get vaccinated. Because listen, when I got COVID, um, Christmas, it was Christmas. Um, me and Babe, both of us were off. COVID swept through my house like the pandemic, just, just like it's doing, but nobody passed away. Thank you, God. We all had it at the same time. My daughter, I had it. Babe, swear he didn't have it. He was sick too. 
I mean, but he he, he actually he he was sick too, but he he said he didn't have it. He tested negative and all, but anyway. He has a strong immune system. He was really taking care of me all the time. He really was. That's how, yeah, I, I did not feel good. <clears throat> so, yeah. um, But that that's my little COVID story, y'all. I don't get mad about nobody. I, I'm not the type, and I don't even, listen, I don't know if I should be saying this. Y'all don't be coming for me in the comments, please. I don't want my mask. I got shot twice with the vaccine and the booster, and I still caught COVID afterwards. But that's okay, because I did not like that feeling. It was a horrible feeling. It did not, it was definitely not a damn good feeling. It was, I was sick as hell. So I'm about to start wearing my mask. I'm sorry. I started a new job by the end of this week. Or maybe the first of next week. Hopefully. Our fingers are crossed. But, um. I'll probably have to start back wearing masks. I just had just been out of the habit of wearing masks. And then. When I got sick. I hadn't been out of the house. Except to go to the grocery store. That's a man or what? And about three weeks. Like, we was really up in this house every single day. It was a holiday. I already went to the grocery store, really. So, we really, it wasn't too much we, we needed to go out for. Really. Really. And again, I'm not going to hold y'all long. It was something I wanted to speak about. Mm. Y'all, I ate half of my chip on my fish sandwich. I got four nuggets left. And that's it. I was going to say something. Y'all, Lord. I can't remember what it was. I was gonna say. Um, oh. Y'all, I don't have any nails on. I have not had nails on in about, I worked at my last job for all of about four months. So, um, I used to wear nails all the time. But when I started working at this place, I couldn't have on nails anymore. So my nails are back strong and healthy. And they, I mean, they have been growing, but I, I just bit my pinky nail off today. I bite my nails, but not to the point where it's all the way down. But I have like a nervous, like anxiety kind of like little thing where I'll just find something to latch onto it and just keep messing with it like my hair. <laughs> I can't help it. Even if I wasn't in front of a camera, I would be doing a little nervous something. But yeah, so... I don't want nails back now. I'm so happy I get to get them back, but I'm also not happy because, you know, nails make your acrylic just, and I guess the, I want to just, I don't think gel nails are the same. But anyway, I can get nails now, y'all. Um, I like when my my nails are really healthy, and I haven't had nails on for a while, so I like them healthy, but, and I like being able to use my hands and stuff just freely. But yeah. I finally get to get my nails back. But y'all, this is it. I'm done eating. All I'm going to eat. I can't eat, so I, I'm just extremely full. I will go you know, ahead and say that um, I can't say a lot of people like. A lot of people I know don't understand mukbang, mukbang. And for a long time, I didn't want to do it, even though I have been... um. I've been, my daughter had a YouTube channel, so I used to help her a lot with her channel. And so I've been on YouTube watching videos and all kind of prank videos and everything. Um, music videos. I love, you know, social media anyway. And um, I don't, I get support, not a lot, because I just think 
and from my hometown, I get a lot of support um, from the people that I get a lot of support from people that I didn't think would support me. And that's awesome. But I think a lot of people don't support because they don't understand it. And my sister, y'all, she's one of them. She's my editor. She she does all my editing. Um, but she said, <laughs> but she said, girl, when I did that Popeye's, um, she said, when I edited that Popeye's video, I was just cringing. And a lot of people can't stand to watch people eat. And I totally understand. And you, I mean, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, though. Just give me a likes up. Um, but it's okay. We are growing, y'all. We are growing, my cravers. Um, we had 200 subscribers in a week. Right, right, right. Go ahead, give yourself a, a round of applause. So this week, let's just try to push forward and, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we get it in over here. You know, just tell a friend to tell a friend. But anyway, I, I will say that to say this. Um, I had to stop caring what people was going to think about me. Um, if they were going to judge me for something that, you know, that for this, what I'm doing now. And I used to um, care. And then I had to realize that. We only have one life to live. Um, there's not a manual or a guide to this life that we're living. You have to find out what works for you and don't care what anybody else thinks because those that matter, they don't mind. They're going to support you regardless all the time. And those that mind, y'all know, they don't matter at all. And we can care less about what they think. And they must not be happy with themselves. And it's okay. It's okay. But I want y'all to stay crispy and crunchy, my cravers. And bye.